Hello and welcome to the Chrome Dime. I'm Old Bald Guy and we are back in Gloomhaven today and I am super excited about this quest. I had forgotten or didn't know or didn't pay attention to or whatever the case is that we could actually side with the demons in this in this in Gloomhaven. And I just didn't know that. So today we are gonna do that. We are gonna side with the demons, go into Gloomhaven Battlements A. And we have to fight the captain of the guard. We have fought him before in the um, town square, in the, the Gloomhaven Square A scenario that we had to do three times to finish. He is a very basic boss. He only has two attack cards in his whole in his deck of eight. The other three, three of them are heals, and three of them are plus one attacks to his friends. So he's not that bad at all. So we need to focus his friends down, though, because most of what he does is buff his people up. So we're going to focus them down, come after him. Shouldn't be too bad once we get to him. But we are facing archers and guards, and that's not going to be the fun because I, the city guard archers hit so hard. And from such range, I mean, their base range is five. Their base attack is three. They're hitting for five and six from range. They've got traps. They've got pierce. It's just really, they got immobilized. It's really a pain in the butt. So hopefully we'll be able to bring in Leroy Jenkins and Short Stuff and Tanky McTankface and take them down. So let's get going on this one. It's also a city quest, which is going to make the... Uh, Mind thief, very happy. Ah, wonderful. You have returned with the artifact. The massive demon clutches it, his claws clacking against the metal vessel. It looks so small in his hands, but somehow the demon looks small holding it. With this, we are ready to make an assault against your realm. Come. Help me fight against the humans, and I will set you at my right hand, where you will earn many riches. What say you? You smile and nod. Finally, you will get the recognition you deserve. Damn right. Giant winged creatures swoop down and grab you with their talons. A massive force of demons rushes towards the rift in your plane. Once through... They quickly make their way to the city walls of Gloomhaven. The intimidating figure of the Prime Demon marches to the front of the demonic horde. Hear me, denizens of this pathetic world. The Prime Demon's voice is hellish and bellowing. The time of demons is upon you once again. Relinquish your city to me and you may yet live. The only ones I wish to kill are those foolish enough to oppose me. We will never fall! At the top of the old river gate, you see the small figure of the captain of the guard. You underestimate our power, and that will be your undoing. He makes a small gesture, and with a crack, a huge ballista bolt sprouts from the prime demon's chest. <laughs> <laughs> The demon staggers back. Away from my throne, I am unfortunately vulnerable. It breathes heavily. Alright, here we go. Allow on your allies to be exhausted or kill five or more monsters. There's probably not going to be that many monsters since it's a boss quest, so we're going to go that way. Three or less cards seems very likely. <laughs> His hit points are definitely going to be dropping below half. Kill three or fewer? I don't think so. We'll go with Scrambler, but it doesn't matter because he doesn't want any more abilities anyways. Uh, as I mentioned in the last uh, episode, in digital, you do not have to take perks. So I have gotten all the perks I want to get for him. Everything else in here is rolling. And the way that advantage works is that you draw, if you have advantage or disadvantage, you draw two cards. So if you have advantage and one of those two cards is a rolling card, you get both cards. So like this rolling plus one here would mean I would get the roll the plus one and whatever the other card drawn is. If the other card happens to be a miss, you can get a rolling plus one into a miss. The reason I have advantage is I don't want to miss. I want to make sure everything I have hits. His deck has exactly one negative card in it. So I want to make sure that I'm getting these plus twos and times twos and plus two... Uh, uh, 
ice cards into the into play and i don't want the misses so that's why i'm not doing any more of these rolling cards now when you have disadvantage and you draw any rolling cards you draw are discarded so you don't get them at all and all you get are the non-rolling cards which once again could still be a miss but you're missing out on all your rolling cards so if i'm fighting with advantage most of the time i really don't want rolling cards in there because it's possible to miss and it's really not that much better because i mean you know yeah i can get a rolling plus one into a into a plus two but you know rolling muddle rolling immobilize rolling stun yeah they're all great but i would rather just not have that happen so that's why i don't take those the, the, the level ups there in tabletop you're actually required to take the level ups and i don't know why they changed that rule i think i think the the digital rule is better and a lot of people house rule in tabletop that you don't have to take perks you don't want it seems weird that it would force you to take perks anyways so and there's also the optional advantage rule which is which is much more beneficial to the player and for advantage in general which is you make two complete piles of drawn cards so you draw if you draw a rolling card, you keep making a pile. That's your first stack Take and your second stack. Take at the head of the army. Crush this wall and bring me that human's head. Okay, first of all, this looks fucking amazing. They're like, in the, in the tabletop setup for this, it's so much different than what this is. This looks so, so good. All right, so here's the problem. We got a couple of city guards here. We have a door with 33 hit points that we have to get through. And we've got guards, city guard archers back here that we can't do anything about. And they're going to light us up. And they're going to kill all our demons. And we want our demons to live through this. So how do we get back? And so one of the things I don't like about digital is it doesn't tell you all the rules about the setup. So... What I do is I actually go read the tabletop setup rules to see what the special rules are so that I know what's happening. Um, and in this particular case, if you if I put if I guy jumps to here or to here, then I don't know what's happen will happen. I in it's gonna be weird. We'll find out. So what it says is that as soon as someone enters the back two tiles then everything in the back spawns. So let's find out what happens. I mean, these doors are closed. I won't open them. So we're gonna jump in there. How do we get in there? All right, uh, so let's start, we're starting here. Um, you have a jump, but it's not gonna get you that far. You're back here, put you here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to get in. So, I'm just going to do... Do I have another way to shield myself? No? Alright. And if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I could go here, attack one of these guys, and have a shield. Let's do that. So, we are going to go with the leaping cleave that'll set up the pierce for next turn and get him to this spot here all right uh over here i think a stun's a good call i don't have any jumps on him no jumps i'm too far away to drop down any kind of wounding stuff oh god these guys have two they have an eight shield one this guy has an eight pierce two. Oh god Oh god, that's so bad. All right, um, I do want to get the wounds spread around, but I can't do it this turn. And I have to move. I think it's going to have to be strength and agony. If I move four, one, two, one, two, three, four, I can put the wounds on those guys, I guess. So let's do that. And over here you just need to get moving which probably means fatic assault minus weakness even though you're not going to get to attack that'll set you up to go one two three four five six that's not enough 
If I go one, two, three, it's not enough. I do have flying boots on him. I could go cranium scurry and get to here, but I don't know that that's going to be a great plan either. I want to get there with more happy th happy thoughts. Um, how if I could sh two, three, four? I could do. Th I need mind's weakness up. So in order to get that up, I pretty much just have to. I guess we do the athletic assault. That's fine. All right, let's go. All right, so the archers are doing very little. They're trading traps, which is not super good, but it's better than some of the other options, and it's a small attack. Our demon friends are... Wind demon's not moving. Frost demon is. Flame demon is doing good stuff. Uh, the city guards are doing some mediocre attacks, and the earth demon is moving up and doing a big attack. So that was bad. Our big earth demon took a hit. Yeah, see, I don't want our... our they're just getting pincushioned at this point. No. Well, you want a set of traps over here next to each guy. Yeah, this... That's what I wanted to avoid was that, but it didn't happen. All right, I'm going to go ahead and boot, jump. Uh, he's going to take both hits. And hit this guy. All right, a rolling disarm and a rolling shield. All right, I can work with that. Disarm and shield on that guy. So now he's up to shield two. That'll help a lot against this little screw head. All right, and let's... Uh, do we want to take a damage to get to this spot here? I think I want to get to this spot. So I'm going to take one damage to get plus one move. And that'll get me up to here. And I can drop in some wounds on these guys back here. Didn't get any damage through him because he's got fucking shield too, but that's fine. All right, and Wind Demon does nothing. Frost Demon does a little something something. We're counting on these guys to help us out a lot right here. All right, that wasn't bad. All right, just gonna move the two. Good shot, good shot. Oh, that's right, the demons attack the door if possible, so they aren't going to attack these guys unless they have to. Alright, so... Uh, we are set up for the skewer, so let's go for the skewer. Yeah, we're just going to step over to here and skewer these guys. Alright. So I want you to kill these guys, but I don't see a good way for it to happen. I could attack a pull's not gonna work. Oh, a pull could work though. So if I was here, one, two, three, four. That's too far though. I could be here, but the demon's in that spot. What if I went one, two, three, four, five to here? One, two, three. I could do that. Can I move five? I can move five with this, but that's the spot for the skewer. So I can skewer from the other, I can't skewer the other side. That won't work either. All right, so, and I have no jumps. And I have a stun and I have that. So as we set that up, hit a stun on that guy, he's immobilized. So that won't matter too much, but let's go ahead and underbrink into a stun. And over here, 
because he has fly, he can actually stand on the thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stand on it and hit this guy. And to do that, I'm going to need to Dark Frenzy Scurry. So I'm going to go one, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, attack. Nice. All right, so we got a Frost Demon doing nothing again. Wind Demon is moving up and attacking. Um, Flame Demon is all adjacent enemies suffer too. Then he moves and attacks with Wound, which isn't awful. And the City Guards are doing small attacks. Earth Demon is doing a move and attack. And the City Arch Archers are doing their big, huge don't move attack, which I really, really don't like. They are going to light some people up with that. Alright. So I should be able to stand on this trap because I'm flying. Go ahead and poison him. Not dead, but it's really close. Alright, so I have to pop the visibility potion. Unfortunately, I don't have any way to get back there, so all I can do is a move to here. Pop this and stun this guy. Gonna retaliate against me, but that's fine, whatever. Alright. Here goes the Wind Demon. He shoots the door and misses. Flame Demon, they have two shots. Big hit on the big hit on the door, and why did they they got to shoot the door? Oh, they both shot the door, even though they have target too. That seems like a flaw in the programming there. Oh, you ate my you bastards! Uh, stun's not worth it there. All right, this part's gonna hurt. You get mobilized, demon. You got hit. Now you're about to die, though. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Both our big demons are gone. All right. So I think we got to blow this guy up right here with attack two, move two, attack two. And you have nothing really good on the bottom. So we'll just do that. And over here. That's tempting. But no. All right, over here, what do we have? Uh, move three, heal one. And probably... I could Fatal Fury something. I am right here. Why don't we start? Why don't we do that? We'll try to make sure these guys die. Which means Fatal Fury on the bottom into a... Dazing Wound, I guess. All right, over here, you're finishing people off here. You have no ice, but you can stun that guy, and you can Corrupt and Embrace this guy. All right. Flame Demon's not moving, so he's going to be completely useless this turn. And the City Guard elites are a problem. Alright. Stun you. And do a trick on this guy. And let's make sure he goes down with this one. He's very, very dead. All right, Mind Thief's clearing house on one side. All right. You are going to do everything you can to get past this guy. Mm, you might be able to. Nope, you cannot. Do you want to eat these, fight, these shots? No, I don't think you do. Let's go back on this side. 
All right. Um, do this. That sucks, actually. I guess that's fine. Do it. Maybe we'll get lucky. <laughs> A little lucky. Oh. Come over here and do the two on this guy. And then now, if we don't draw a negative one, we'll take this guy out. All right. Oh, hold that. Oh, there goes one. Oh, God. Oh, it hurt. All right. So what do we do now? The Mind Thief is going to finish this guy. So he's going to go ahead and walk up and kill this guy. So do we finish the door off and get to these guys that way? I think we do. Can you see me from here? Yeah. You can see both those guys. All right. Uh, the other option is I just go jump on them. But that doesn't seem like a good plan. So... I think it's going to be this way. And you're going to move up and heal. And your point, hit points are going to be at exactly half. So that won't work. Oh, I can do the pull thing now from here. Pull this guy into here and get some damage on him. Alright, let's go. Move up. Hit the door. You stun the door. You stun the door. The door is stunned. Good job. Way to show who the boss is. damage on him. Door's going down in a minute here. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and move up to here. We might as well stun this guy, or muddle this guy just in case. Yeah, he is not dead. A lot of damage right here. Oh god, that might have been a mistake. That was definitely a mistake. But that burn car was gonna have to go no matter what. All right, do that. Go ahead and long rest. I think so. I kind of have to long rest him, right? No, I can't. But, I mean, these guys are going to shoot him, and they're not going to be dead. And even though I'm probably going to kill this door and move over here, but I don't think it's going to be enough. So, we're going to have to short rest you. That sucks. I didn't want to lose that card. But there are more things that I need to learn lose instead. Uh... So you're definitely going to move and heal. What do you do on the other side of that? You have boots. So I don't know what's inside of this, but one, two, three, four would let you kill that guy, right? All right, let's try that. And over here, we're going through the door. Oh, we're going to kill that guy and then go through the door. All right. It is a not dead door. Uh, let's go ahead and use the top of this. All right. Let's open the doors. See what we got. Back away at the wooden door. An explosion erupts from it. 
sending gouts of flame dancing among splinters of wood and shards of rock. A shockwave blows you from your feet, and you recover to see nothing but billowing smoke where the door once was. The way is clear. Now it's time to bring down the captain. All right, so we have... What is that? Oh, that's a, that's a chest. Got it. Uh, move three, attack three, move three, attack three. These guys are move two, attack three, range seven. So that's super bad. These guys are also move three, attack three, and he is doing a... Cap the captain is doing a heal two, affect self, and all allies. All right, so we're going to go right back outside to here. Thanks, Flame Demon. All right, so if we go here, we get lit up by three, four city, four archers. That is super bad, like beyond super bad. So we will not do that. We cannot jump over. I think we just have to move back a little bit. Like I don't, I can't get lit up by the archers. That's just bad. And right now they have no shots on us. Right, that door's not actually open, I don't think. Oh, maybe it is. No, that's open. That's closed. So technically, they can't hit us right now. Uh, and they go next. No, I go next. The brute goes next, and then the archers go. So yeah, we're just gonna go hide out of the way back here. And go ahead and use our big potion. Much as I want to kill that guy, I am not going to be able to. Alright, let's uh, attack this. Piercing, muddling, zero. Alright, that's kind of where I wanted it to be. And we're going to take you... This side should be safe, I think. All right. Yep, yeah, there goes that guy. Oh no! He's not safe! Should have checked the line of sight! I have to use... You, you have to use it. When it's lit up red like this, that means you have to use it. Even though they're piercing, so it doesn't do me any good. Oh no! I have made a horrible mistake! The whole team is mobilized! And now he's gonna heal everybody and the archers are gonna be back to not dead. Oh god. Door even got healed! They healed the door! Oh god, I was a long rest. I can't do anything here. Uh. Shit. In a really bad spot here. I can't move. So, like, there's no point in me doing anything else but long resting because I just can't move right now. He can move. Alright, I guess that's what we do. This is just horrible. All right, at least the guards are doing nothing. The archers are doing something. And the captain's going to move up. Oh, God. So many people on this board. Yeah, he's dead. He might be dead, too. Oh, my God. I don't know what I, how I get out of this at this point. I have to kill these guys. These guys are an issue.
Oh, I could have moved. I could have used the cure potion. Alright, what do we do? Like, I don't know how to get through these guys here. The door has to go down. These are six archers on the board. That's the problem. Uh, fuck. Okay. I want to do the trample, but I can't get to them. So I need to find a way. All I can do is I'm going to go late into a whirlwind. To move in yeah and then I'm going to try to get close and then do a trample with the movable phalanx next turn uh, over here one two three four five six if I can at least get to the door kill the door but it's just we don't have any demons left like oh god have nothing to pull them into anymore. Um, you're going to have to do something. I don't know what you do, though. We definitely go get the chest, because we have to repeat this. We don't want to have to get this chest again. Uh, heal is not bad. I think it's going to be Dark Frenzy and... First edge. That'll give us the ability to kill this door, move, and shoot these guys. And at least when here, I maybe we... I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so the guards do nothing. Captain of the guard does nothing. The city archers are another a problem once again. Alright, wait. Not that. Alright, let's go here. Kill the door. I think so what's your range five your range is you're not moving right no move attack it's only attack two though one two three four five from here right two three four I can still get shot from every single person from here but not from here so let's go there and we'll go ahead and goggles this guy. Alright, not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and pop your healing potion while we're here. Alright. I don't know what the right approach for this scenario is. Like, you have to, obviously, I think you have to use the line of sight. I don't have enough ranged attacks on these guys. Maybe we send both of the... I don't have a jump for that guy. Alright, um... Even with boots, the furthest I could get would be here, and now we get lit up by archers. I can't even get to this guy. Even over here, he's going to go after everybody, but it's going to be... So he's going to get shot by all of these guys, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. I could take some hits, but that seems bad. They're a target, too, anyway, so I'm not even getting any hits away from anybody. So I think I just move to here and suck it up. I can't get to anybody. card for that. Yeah, I don't see. Oh. 
Yep, this is not gonna happen. Uh, all we can do now, we charge the guard, charge the captain of the guard. We can't even kill the captain of the guard yet. Like that's there's just too much going on in there. I don't know how we get in here. I really, really don't. All right, let's go after the captain of the guard and see if we can pull it off some miracle. He's immune to stun, but that's okay. All right, we're going for it. It's all we can do. Let's get back the unstoppable charge. All right, here we go. Uh, movable phalanx over unstoppable just because it's faster in initiative. You need to get in there, which means one, two, three, four, five, and do whatever you have to do to get there. You, one, one, two, three, four, five, six is not going to be that f not far enough. Bye, yai, 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 yai. I could scurry into position, I guess. But we need a corrupted embrace. All right, let's go. Oh, apparently I can't even do that. Let's just go here then. All right, well, that guy's dead. Uh, let's go ahead and bring back the cranium. Give us the move for next turn. And here we go. One, two, three. What are these guys doing? They're doing decent stuff. These guys are doing really ugly stuff. So let's do it this way. Oh, no, we got to go the other way because there's just not enough movement to go that way. Three four put the stunned on them pierce plus three that's a thing <laughs> okay we're making progress uh what do you got left nothing all right oh god you're almost dead let's give you some health uh can move three to get there, or I could do this with the boots to get here, and then I can attack twice and pull, which doesn't do us a ton of good. Honestly, I think the heal might be better. They have no fire, but I think this is probably better, the full move and heal. Let's do it. Do we heal the brute? Maybe we do. No, I think we heal here. He, the Berserker can deal out, dish out more damage, I think. So this is going to be really bad. So Miss is coming in. Alright, um, this is gonna be really bad. Yep, that's why we didn't heal you, because you're basically dead. I think Scurry is a loss here, right? need Fatal Fury. We don't need you. We don't need you. Alright. Kind of have to heal, kill him right now. And the Brute has to long rest because he's dead. You have to short rest. Not that card. 
Any card but that card. Fatal Fury, Unbridled, I guess. No. All right. And you have to get to them and do what? Is there a spot even for you? Yeah, a spot right there. One, two, three, four, five. So you can fly to here and hit him with that, I guess. That was weird. He can be poisoned. He can't be poisoned, so... Oh, fuck! I didn't poison him. That's alright. It cost us the damage, but that's fine. Have some fire. I don't remember if you need it or not, but you have it now if you need it. Guards are doing nothing. These guys are gonna suck, but hopefully, I don't know. We're probably gonna die here. He's at 28. We did 20 to him. I think he started at 48. problem. I don't think we're going to quite have it. It's a lot closer than I thought it was going to be, though. All right. Uh, not going to suffer any damage. We are going to hit him. <laughs> this is going to be a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Like a couple mistakes earlier and we could have been okay, but now he's also dead. And you have one hit left. I don't see any way that works, right? I mean, if he was poisoned, he would have taken three more damage. He'd be at 11. Let's see if that, that lack of poison got us... So I lost. I, he would have been one hit point. One hit point left if I had done that. Oh, and I'm not even close enough to get the treasure chest. Oh no! Leaving him at five. Leaving him at five. Wow! 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 That was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Too many mistakes in earlier times, but uh, definitely, definitely could have been done. So, do we just... How do we play it next time? Do we just charge the captain and go? I don't know. That's a tough call. All right, sitting counter. You awaken your bed to the sensation of someone shaking you, but when you look around, you see no one else in your room. Instead, you see that it's the entire room shaking. Your thoughts immediately go to the crystal you found inside the mountain along the road. You quickly search through your belongings and grab the crystal in your hand. The earthquake stops. Clearly, this thing has power. Let's go see some help. We lost five gold. 
A bookish quatrefoil says that as he rolls a crystal from his hand, it seems as though as if this crystal is attuned to a specific location. Once removed, it begins vibrating until mountains and houses start falling down. I say you need to return it to its proper home with the proper tools, which I'll need help paying for. Okay. So we're going to let... And eh, we'll let short stuff pay for it. And we now have the crystalline cave as an option. Crystalline Cave has in it kill all enemies, protect the crystal, has an earth demons, flame demons, and frost demons. All right. So I think we're going to go back into Gloomhip Battle Bits A again next turn, uh, next episode, and uh, see what we can find there. Because I think I can do it. Like, that was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, charging, the, charging the city guard captain is probably the right call. And if we do it smarter and kind of stay behind the demons a little bit. And play a little bit smarter with a few things. I think we can do that side. That one. So I think that's going to be our plan for next episode. Back to the Heaven Battlements A. Until then, OBG out.